Photography locked down challenge time again. Right now in the UK, we are under a pretty heavy lockdown and you're not allowed to go out and about, except for specific reasons, one of which is to go for your walk. How about capturing your walk? Now, wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter. How about capturing the feeling, the essence, the spirit of walk? The hashtag to use for this particular challenge is coming up on screen right now, PLD Walk. But it's not just about going for a walk and the pretty things you see along the way. What I want you to do is to try and find a way to capture the spirit of going for a walk. People going for a walk in the park. You going for a walk in the path. There are so many ways you can do this. Now, for example, the obvious one is the selfie. Hey, no worries, guys. Don't worry. Enjoy the sunshine. <laughs> Lovely people. They're going, oh, sorry, we're being noisy. The obvious one is the selfie, yeah? You know, how about doing a cool selfie of yourself? And if you run backwards and forwards between you and the camera often enough, you're going to lose loads of weight. You're going to be fit as a fiddle. Now, I've taken the liberty of setting up a little shot already because you don't need to watch me fiddle. But I might try and just... Now, I'm just going to take a quick still. There you go, look. You can see... No, you can't because I've put the self-timer on. But we'll wait. In a moment, you're going to see Shannon with the camera... Look, we're using the leading lines on the bench to run through the picture. You see where Shannon's standing. Composition is all about you thinking. It's about using what's around you. It's about arms and legs and hands and feet, bending your knees, finding a way to do something. So I'm on 10 second timer. So I'm going to see if I can take a cool selfie of me coming down the road. Are you ready, Shannon? Yeah. OK, we're going to do some quick action. And three, two, one, go. Here we go. I'm coming up here. Look cool, Brown. I think I've gone too far. I go back. <laughs> I saw the little light flashing on the camera and I think I walked right past it. I don't know. Have a little look and see what, see what happened. You see, this is fun, you know, as it should be. Yeah, I said look cool, didn't I? Anyway, I failed at that. How could you come up with the spirit of your walk? Or somebody else's walk, for that matter. Here's a picture we spotted when we first arrived in the park. I just love these two dogs. They look like they're wearing chaps. And the crossed leads between the owners. I just think it's a funny shot. The thing is, they were so far away, because I'd faffed around getting my camera out and kind of missed the moment. That's me being slow. Another idea was... How about capturing feet moving? This is just an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. I can't make this work so far, but it's an idea you might like. In which case, take this idea and see if you can perfect it. Slowish shutter speed. I'm just going to guess a 15th. What I'm thinking is, could you do something, you know, like with your feet? Could you do a little bit of movement blur, kind of movement blur shot with your feet as they're walking? I, I don't know. This is just an idea. I did it briefly earlier and I couldn't get it right. I probably won't this time. Let's get the exposure. So we want the shadow speed. I'm going to guess at a 15. So that's the primary control. Therefore, you're going to have to balance that out with aperture and ISO so that the exposure is correct. You want the 15th of a second in order to try and capture movement. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably just going to look weird. I don't know. Play with this idea and see if you can get it right. If you don't know what I'm talking about with... 15th of a second being the primary exposure control and then having to balance it out either with aperture and ISO then you need to learn how to control your camera because it is so so important you can't be creative until you know how to drive this thing if you want some help with that click the thing popping out up here right now I have helped thousands of photographers just like you go find out how you can even try a free sample so let's see if I can do something with my feet I think it's not going to work but like I said I'm going to just make my lens a bit wider and just see what happens. I'm just going to walk and see if I... Yeah, you see, it just looks weird. Maybe burst mode would be a better idea. You know, this is how you build on an idea. You have that creative idea, how can I capture walk? And then you start expanding on it. Now, I'm thinking burst mode because then I haven't got to keep refocusing the rest of it. Let's just walk and hold the shutter down. Notice I'm holding the camera this way. No, I'm not doing that. But... At least that I'm kind of looking back at my feet. So if I do it from here, it doesn't kind of work. Try things out. Let's try walking. Hear the shutter going. Now, has anything happened in those? 
Well, you know what? There's a couple that have got potential. I'm probably on the wrong sort of grass and the wrong sort of light. Backlight would be better. You get the idea. How could you capture the spirit of walk? Not just the pretty things you see along the way. The closing date for this challenge is up on screen. You've got the hashtag. It's been on screen throughout. I look forward to seeing what you can come up with. And please remember, these challenges are supported by donations, by the people who do them, because someone has to pay for the videos and all the rest of it. Um, if you would like to contribute because you find value in these live judgings, the feedback sessions, the challenges, again, click the little link up there. I will see you in the feedback session. Take care and have fun.